here's your rod and here's my rod. Welcome everybody to the New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Colin McEwen. In today's show, I'm here with my son, Corey, and we're gonna go out and fly fish and conventional tackle fish for bass, northern pike, and walleye. We're at Hawk Lake Lodge, one of my favorite places to come in northern Ontario. We're gonna talk a lot about how to get to these species, whether it's with a lure or with a fly. It's gonna be a fascinating comparison. I know you're gonna enjoy it, stay with us. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. Time fishing in the great outdoors are very special to me, especially if I can spend it with one of my children. My son Corey is a budding angler wanting to join me on fishing trips. But I don't think it's all about the fishing. It's probably more about spending time with dad. To me, this is as good as it gets. I know these days with my son are numbered. He's growing up so quickly. One day he won't want to go with me and will be more interested in girlfriends and hanging with his pals. And that's okay, that is part of life. So that is why this time together is so very, very special to me memories I'll have for the rest of my life, as will he. It's important when taking your child fishing to choose a place where there's a high chance of catching fish. The fish don't have to be big in most cases, just plentiful. I decided to drive us to one of my all-time favorite locations just outside of Dryden, Ontario, Hawk Lake Lodge. Hawk Lake is hailed by many anglers as being one of Ontario's best fishing lodges. This unique drive to five-star facility is operated as an exclusive private retreat. Hawk Lake Lodge's central facility is a carefully crafted log building dating from the 1930s, featuring a comfortable reception area, a tackle shop, a guest dining room with polished hard maple floors, a floor-to-ceiling granite fireplace, a library and lounge area, and a stunning window-walled view overlooking Hawk Lake. Hawk Lake Lodge is currently one of only a handful of fly fishing lodges in Canada to carry the official endorsement of Orvis. Joining me today is Ted Putnam, owner of Hawk Lake Lodge. A fly fishing enthusiast, Ted has spent many years fishing these waters. Corey and I are excited to spend some time with Ted learning the waters. For this trip, I'll be using my fly rod, but my son Corey has elected to use a spinning rod. Corey's still learning to cast, so this is probably the best idea. It's important to keep it simple when fishing with children. The method of angling is unimportant, as long as the experience is a fun one. Crayfish are one of the main food sources smallmouth bass will target. The lakes here are teeming with them. Watch as Ted Putnam shows my son Corey how do you use the plastic crayfish pattern? So you're gonna let it sink because you obviously you're working along the bottom mm -hmm. and you just tap, tap, tap. And let's see if we can have some fun. What do you think? Give it a shot. Yeah, let's go. Got one. Got one? Got one? All right, bring him in. 
Excellent. Good job. Hey, Dad, I got one. Okay. Let's catch the release. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, I got one. Oh, it's a big one too. There, I'll get the it's net. It's a good bass. I'll get good the net. Good bass, Corey. Good bass. Net? Yep. Where do you want me to? Right here? Know. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. Just watch the rods. Oh, this guy is really fighting. This is a good bass. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish. Look at that oh, bass. Yeah. He's got a mark on the side of him. Does he? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> got him. Oh, sweet. Now. He's got a mark on him. He's, That's he's what I was. A, I wasn't kidding. Yeah. Let's put the. Let me put my rod down here. And this wasn't the one. There was a fish that was right beside him. I don't know if you saw him, Corey. And he was going for the other one. Oh, he's huge. And look at the look at the marks. Yeah. He's had a run in with something. You got see how he's got claw marks there? That's oh, either yeah. a pike or an osprey. It's fresh guy. too. Mm hmm Okay, I'm gonna let him go here. There he goes. All right. Good. Let's get another one. That guy was right by that log, just where you expect him to be. So we like Hawk Lake Lodge to be a place where people feel comfortable just relaxing. So we have a spot where there's a hammock where you can curl up with a book that's by the water. There's also um, hanging out by the fireplace in the evening with a good book or, you know, just checking up on the news from the day on the, on the Wi-Fi. Um, we also have um, something that a lot of families enjoy is the hot tubs. We have three hot tubs um, that are very popular to use. And um, particularly when we have families, they love to, to run into the lake, jump into the lake, and then jump into the hot tub back and forth. And that's always a, a good time for all. Hawk Lake guest cabins, all with lakeside decks, are private, spacious, and tastefully furnished. Your refrigerator contains an endless supply of soft drinks and water, something my son really loved. Each cabin has at least one full private bath and is fully carpeted and electrically heated. They are truly a comfortable place to come to at the end of a wonderful day of fishing. So what we've got here is a nice little quiet bay Got some big boulders, got a beaver lodge over here, fallen timber, it's perfect. So this is the kind of place we're looking for because there'll be a lot of bass in here. There's deep water, it's probably 20, 25 feet here, but lots of structure to relate to. And I'll see lots of bait fish, crayfish, leeches, everything. You got all the food groups right here, so this is a good spot. This is what you're looking for. Got one. All right. Any size to him, Corey? I haven't seen him yet. And that yeah. fish was just where we expected it, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it's just a little guy, but still nice. So I love about the smallmouth. They're all big. You want to bring them this way, Corey? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So I'll do. I'll put them over the boat real quick. Put them in my hand. Like that. You got them right through the bottom lip. I'll just take it out quick. How's he look? That's a nice fish, Corey. Small one, but still good. They're all good. And any place we can go and catch 40, 50 bass, up to 21 inches, 22 inches, it's a great place. Isn't this fun? All right, so put another worm on, son, and we'll try that again, okay? I'd like to say I was doing something uh, really talented with my retrieve. But the reality is, uh, I just had the line out the back of the boat and was just picking it up and this guy... Yeah, there's another one right there. Oh yeah, following there's it. There's two. Yeah. You'll see that a lot, Corey, with smallmouth. Because the other one follows because he thinks the other one's got something he can eat. He just hand, Corey, I'll bring it. I'll tell you when I'm ready, okay? Look at this six-weight rod. These fish here are so strong. 
It's not a bad size one. So once I get the head up, Corey, you ready, set, there you go. Good job. All right, bring it this way, Corey. Oh, good job. So there's the one fly. You took the dropper, which is what they always usually do. Spot. That's a nice fish. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Very one. chunky. Beautiful fish. Okay, just hang on a sec, Corey. My, yeah. my fly is still in there. What I'll do is put the net down. Let me just release this fish. I'll just gently put him in here. Let him oh, revive yeah. for a second. And then let him go. There he goes. Okay, so I'll get my fly out. There that we go. Out. Okay. And then what's important, Corey, when you're yeah. in a boat like this, is we've got to do uh, make sure we put the nets and everything in here in a good spot so we don't um, trip over them. I'll back us out here if you want to put the net yeah. down, okay? That's what I was going to say. And what I'm using here around these shoals is a two fly system. It works really well. I'll show it to you. I've got a few split shot up here above. I've got 24 inches of 3x tippet. First fly is this bright leech. And in many ways, it's just an attractor pattern. And then back here, I have what is known uh, in, to the English as a sparrow fly. And it really doesn't represent anything specifically. Um, it really represents, it could be a dragonfly, it could be a damselfly. The bass just know it's something to eat and they'll see it. I'll strip it in little pulses and they'll come and grab it. About 90% of the time I find they grab this fly rather than the leech. But it's a very effective system with this intermediate line. The water here is really clear. It's deceptive because you think, oh wow, it's only 10 feet deep when it's actually 15 feet deep. So you get the fly right down to get at these bass and then strip it, little pulses slow especially on a day like today where we got bright blue skies and yesterday it was raining, so uh, we gotta change it up and get down where the bass are. It's important to allow your child time to explore other things when you're enjoying time on the lake. Corey was very interested in the rock formation off this clip and wanted to get a souvenir. It will be a nice reminder of a good time we both had. This is cool. It's all part of going fishing, exploring. That one. That one? Yeah, that's a fish. That's a good fish too, I think. Bring them up. It's okay. When he wants to go. There, nice fish. Solid fish. A nice one for you. Still looking for the elusive 18, but that's a nice fish. All right, let's put him in. And away he goes. If I win this, he owes me 10 bucks. And I'm winning by two. Patience is a must when you take your so children fishing. these are great fishing. little pockets in here. They will make mistakes. Come out into deep water. Use this time to teach for. them properly. So bait fish all the while fish in here, making it a fun so experience. To the deep water, so it's have patience, security. let them learn, and Here's you'll have a fishing partner spot. for life. Should be along these ledges here, Corey. That's where I'm casting. So that sink right down. So just keep a tight line to it because sometimes the bass will grab it while it's falling. But they like these, these uh, steep ledges because there's food against the ledge and the deep water is shelter for them if there's a predator nearby. And the best thing here is there's shadows, so they like shadows a lot. Got one. Good job, Corey. Any size? I haven't seen them yet. Well, that's not a bad size, Corey. Can you get the net? Yeah, I will. Let me just get my... Oh, he's gone. Oh, Corey. Broke off, okay. Broke what you gotta do, Corey, is let him, go see your uh, rod. Too tight. So the drag's back here, Corey. And what you do is you loosen it or you tighten it. Same as a fly reel. Because if you don't, what happened was you reeled that fish in and it was too strong. I was a big fish. It was probably 16 or 17 inch fish. It needs to be able to go like this, right? I didn't know that. Yeah. 
And then the other thing you do is don't reel it in too close when it's strong like that. Let the rod, because this line will break. It's only eight pound, right? That's too bad. Well, we, we just proved they're, they're here. here. Does that count as catching a fish? No. Dang. Got to land it. Tough. So if it's right here and bringing it over the edge and it falls off? Yeah. That doesn't count? Well, it doesn't count in a bass tournament. It's got to be in the net and in the boat. So there's no way I can count that, Corey. Would you want to count for me? Probably not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Probably not. Comparing flies to lures is a good way of teaching my son the alternatives when fly fishing. With the main feed being crayfish, I had Corey use a spinning rod and a plastic jig in crayfish colors. He also used tube jigs while I used crayfish fly patterns or woolly buggers in tan and brown on my fly rod. For the minnow patterns on a spinning rod, Corey used plastics such as sluggos while I used zonkers or woolly buggers in white. When we did fish on the surface, I used a popper and Corey used a torpedo. One of the things that makes Hawk Lake Lodge so special is that you get to focus on being here with your friends and family. Um, we take care of everything for you. Um, there's no chores to be done. You go out, you have a fun day fishing, being with each other in the boat, and then you come back and it's an enjoyable dinner and relaxing and you don't have any worries here. And there's no stresses. There's a fish, and it's not that big. Hey, I got one too, or at least I did. Do you want the net or no? Well, there's a big one around it, Corey. Put your fl your fly right here, your um, worm. Put it right here below my, right here. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Right here, right here. Right there? A, yeah, so let go down. Just stay there. There was a big bass that came behind this one. It was twice the size of this fish. Got it. You got him? Yep. Good stuff. Oh, that's, is that him? Oh, that's nope. not him, but it's still a good one. Oh, wait, here's the other one right here. He's right there. Yeah, that's the big one. Look at the size of that one. He's fighting this one. All right, let's uh, give me this one. That's a good size fish, Corey. Bring this guy here. Okay. Three want me. That was a big fish. Yeah, we he saw was, it. He dwarfed this these This is a good ones. area. Do you agree, Dad? Yeah, I do. We should stay here. Oh, I took my worm away. Yeah. Barnacle bait. The next morning, we decided to take it easy and just fish around the lodge until after lunch. Hawk Lake Lodge has excellent fishing, even right off the docks. All right, Corey. I'm gonna come in there with the fly, right beside it. Reel it in more. All right. That's, That's a big an fish. Good job, Corey. Look at that. What a football. It's a nice fish. Nice and big one. It's important to reinforce the fishing experience with your child. Make sure you congratulate them with every catch, no matter how big or small. Pretty strong? Not bad? Yeah. I don't think he's done. Bring him over this way. All right, ready? Yeah. No, don't put your hand there. 
Metra. Not too bad. The nice one. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. All the stripes in there, pretty. Yeah, that's really cool. It's a nice fish. Belly. Good job. Well done. Yeah. Good job, Corey. Thanks. Our time with our children is very short. I cannot believe how fast my son is growing up. Taking time to take your child fishing, no matter whether it's your son or daughter, is a wise investment. These precious days will be remembered as much by them as they will be by you. I encourage you all to take your children fishing. I hope you enjoyed today's show. My son and I certainly had a great time here at Hawk Lake. You know, it's really wonderful to take your son or daughter out fishing. It's that special time you have together. And quite frankly, it's amazing how quickly they grow up and suddenly they're adults. To learn more about Hawk Lake or about this show, go to thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe and you can get all our weekly uploads. To learn more about the new fly fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook.